Warsaw, the capital of Poland, is a grown beauty with fascinating contrasts. The royal palace with the Vladislav Tower and the imposing stone portal is a masterpiece of the Baroque period. It was built at a time when the capital was moved from Krakow to Warsaw and a residence was needed. An eventful history began and today exhibitions of European art and aristocratic high culture are here to be appreciated. In 1764, Stanislav August came to power. Under him, the throne hall, the knights hall, and the cabinet of the European monarchs came into being. In the old town, the narrow streets run like a grid, with palaces, churches, and townhouses. The Gothic John Cathedral from the 15th century is the oldest church in town, which is a stylish trading place with a long history. Here, Stanislav August was crowned, and bones and coffins of the Masovian princes are housed in the crypt under the church. Also in the upper church, there are graves, old sculptures, and the valuable crucifix. Right next door, the Jesuit church was built as part of a monastery, dedicated to the Mother of God and guarded by a bear. After a few meters through the old town, the market square opens up. Here beats the heart of the city. Markets and sometimes executions took place here. By the 14th century, the double city wall was already erected, where today a monument commemorates the child soldiers of the Warsaw Uprising. The brick wall is considered one of the best preserved. The Barbican is a massive city gate in a defense tower between old and new city. Built in front of the city wall as an effective protection. The so-called King's Path leads from Castle Square in a southerly direction to Villanov. One of the longest boulevards in the world starts at today's University Church of St. Anne, which is built on a monastic site from the 15th century. Inside, magnificent Rococo altars, a pulpit worthy of a view, and beautiful frescoes fascinate. A monument was dedicated to the poet Mickiewicz. And right next door, the classicist facade of the Carmelite church shines in the sunlight. Until the reconstruction of the John's Cathedral, the imposing church was the most important cathedral in the city. In 1654, the construction work on the St. Joseph Church began. The impressive interior directs the eye to the high altar with its magnificent sculptures and silver tabernacle, and the Rococo pulpit in the shape of a ship. Nicholas Copernicus is considered the country's most influential researcher. He looks towards the impressive twin towers that adorn the late Baroque facade of the Church of the Holy Cross. But the church is not only visited because of the many Baroque altars and epitaphs. For here is the place of pilgrimage to the urn 
with the heart of the world-famous composer Frédéric Chopin. In the Middle Ages, the Masovian princes were the owners of the Lazienki Park in the south of the city. In the 17th century, the Polish crown and then Grand Marshal Lubomirski took over, who allowed a hermitage and a bathing pavilion to be built. King Poniatowski had the pavilion converted into a moated castle and the garden laid out. And so, one of the most beautiful parks in Europe was created. A landscape full of lakes, flower beds, ponds, buildings, ancient statues and an amphitheatre. Here, strolls were taken and conversations had. And nobility maintained its privacy. Each Thursday in summer, painters, writers and industrialists were invited for dinner by the king into the moated palace. And so the park and castle were much in demand as a meeting point. The amphitheatre was built in 1790, in clear allusion to antiquity, in the style of the Herculaneum Theatre on the Gulf of Naples. Today, the park, with all its neoclassical buildings, is one of the city's great attractions, as well as its green lung. The Baroque royal castle of Villeneuve is known as the Polish Versailles, a monument of national history and culture. Once the summer residence of the Polish kings and meeting place of the parliament of the dual empire of Poland-Lithuania. Today, the castle is a museum and is used for state celebrations. You can visit the royal apartments where King Jan Sobieski and his wife Marysienka originally lived. Filigree masterpieces, a family tree and many paintings by famous artists on the red fabric walls make the Great Red Hall the highlight. Around the castle there is a Baroque park. The changing fashions of stately garden design are clear to see. And paths in the style of a neo-Renaissance maze Statues and fountains adorn the park. Although the Villanov Palace was a royal residence, it actually became a retreat for the king, who valued family life above all. Warsaw is European history through the ages.